Welcome to uh, Home on the Range. I'm Reese Lewis, Exec Chef of the Woodstock Inn. Today, we have a fantastic uh, combination. I'm gonna do two things really quick. A fresh, well, actually, uh, freshly made tomato soup with a grilled cheese sandwich. Let me introduce you to the ingredients. I've got the fennel. This is a bulb of fennel. I cut it in half so you can see it. What I've done is take the center core out, slice it up. There's onions that are sliced up, peeled chopped fresh garlic, I have some bay leaves, and I only have uh, fresh rosemary, so I'm gonna use it. A Little bit of oregano, some red pepper flake. I've got some fresh tomatoes, a little butter, cheddar, spinach, and some bread that's got a little butter on it already. So I'm gonna make the grilled cheese sandwich to go with the soup. Let's get the soup going. A Little bit of olive oil goes down into the pot. I preheated that a little bit. Don't worry about that olive oil, it's good for you. I'm gonna add the onions, you'll hear that. Uh, hear that, uh, you know you're, you're doing a good thing when you hear that. Isn't that fennel too? Fennel's in there as well. I'm going to saute these down until they're tender. I'm going in with some salt, which will help. And that's uh, really high quality flake kosher salt. Um, doing that so I can see and, and determine how much I have. What I'm going to do is sweat this a little bit. One of the ingredients I didn't mention was just some vegetable broth. You can buy it or make it. Sometimes I just get it because it's easy. And uh, I'm going to let this sweat down. We'll come right back. I've got the uh, onions and the fennel have steamed. You can see that it's uh, sweated a little bit. They're, they're not really developing any color. The uh, garlic is going to go down in. I'm gonna Add to it the aromatics. I have a little rosemary. I really would use basil uh, of choice, but you have to do, use what you have. Some some bay leaves are going to go down in there, and immediately you can smell that. Um, saute those just for a minute or two. I don't want those to brown. I'm going to add to it the canned tomatoes. Nothing, nothing special here. Just crushed tomatoes. I'm going to use the bed stock. Kind of rinse out that tomato can a little bit. Make sure you don't get it on you when you're doing it. Get any other tomato can I can. I'm going to let that simmer. I'm going to add to it just a dash of the oregano. I don't want too much oregano. I want it to taste like tomato soup, not uh, spaghetti sauce. And then, of course, I have just a little dash of, of chili flakes. I like that little heat in the back. I'm going to add the rest of this veg stock. Uh, make sure. We'll let it come up to a simmer. I want all the vegetables tender. And then I'm going to blitz it and add some of the uh, evaporated milk uh, there. If you have fresh heavy cream, that'd be great. You can use that too. Uh, if you don't want to use cream or milk, that's fine. There's no, there's no dairy product in here. You can just go without and it's more intense. I'm going to let that come to a simmer and we'll return in just a moment. I let the soup simmer a little bit until the vegetables were tender, removed the bay leaf, it took the, the uh, vertical immersion blender, mixed it, uh, blend everything smooth, and I'm just going to add some of this uh, evap milk to it to um, give it that nice creamy tomato soup kind of uh, look and taste like you knew when you were a child. So here we go, tomato fennel soup. What I'm going to do is just set that off to the back. And uh, I can add more cream to it, I'll adjust the seasoning. I've got the spinach on one of the sandwiches already. I'm gonna put some leaf spinach down just to kind of work more vegetables in and give me a contrast of color. A couple slices of, uh, couple slices of tomato, now these are wet, so I have to you know, take that in consideration. There'll be a little extra moisture in the sandwich, hit it with a little salt. Uh, the cheese, I cut this cheese, this nice cabbage cheddar, and um, I've got some butter on the outside of the bread. I want to make sure I got it covered the right way. And then this is going to go on. Uh, this is going to go on. Let me see here. Let me go with this one. On my uh, preheated pan. You can hear that. This one's going to go down just like that. I'm going to make sure that I match them up. What I'm going to do is toast these. Golden brown on either side. The oven is set at 350. I'm going to go in the oven and make sure that it's hot all the way through. And we'll be right back to serve our dish. No. I've got, I've got the oven, uh, or the uh, sandwiches ready in the oven. They're a little toasty there. 
No worries, perfect on the other side. They're warm all the way through. Cut it, just position it on the plate. Trying to like them a little darker, so we're gonna do that. And then I've got the soup here. Season it with salt. And I've got uh, the evap milk, added the, the rest of it to it. I have a little bit of Parmesan cheese if you want to put on top. Ladies and gentlemen, mm, homemade tomato soup, grilled cheese sandwich. Um, certainly uh, glad you joined me for uh, Home on the Range. Again, Reese Lewis, you have a great day. Bye.